Hi Scorpio, it's me Alex and I'm here to bring you guys your weekly tower reading. I hope you guys are doing amazing. Let's see what the universe has for Scorpio. Um, just to give you guys a heads up, I will not be performing personal readings after December 17th, 2021. I'm going to take some time off. I should return sometime in January. And speaking of January, I am changing my reading schedule. So if you're not subscribed to my channel, please subscribe to my channel so you'll get updates on when new uh, Scorpio videos will be released. All right, let's see what the universe has for big scope. Yeah, Ali. Come on now. Whoo! Scorpio, can y'all just have a regular reading? Oh boy. Scorpio, first of all, everybody just take a deep breath and just say woosa. Okay? Because you got the devil here with the five of wands. <sighs> all right. Scorpio, somebody's addicted to your ass. Scorpio, who did, who, who did y'all do this to? What innocent bystander did y'all just um, um, infect them with that beautiful Scorpio love? Because whomever this is, they're about to change for you, Scorpio. Mm-hmm. Yes, ma'am. Yes, sir. Yes, they. Yes, them. Ooh. All right. We had to have some raggedy stuff here. We had to have the foolery, Scorpio. You know the universe ain't gonna give you an A-plus reading. Universe will be like, take the A, Scorpio, and be happy. <laughs> I can't stand it. All right, what do we have here? We got two Kangs. Y'all see them two Kangs? And that's my divine part. Let me calm down. Scorpio, you gonna have to choose between two people, okay? Not only that, but I'm also hearing transformation as well. Scorpio didn't show up in this, in y'all's reading. Yeah, I see the King of Cups sitting over here, but I don't see no transformation on death or tower, right? So I don't even know who these people are yet. In other words, I don't know if they're the embodiment of one or two or however many people. So let's see where we go. Um, The devil. Somebody is obsessed with you Scorpio okay look at first of all can we see the look in his eyes or her eyes or it's look at them crazy serial killer eyes and I don't mean that figure uh, literally I mean that figuratively as in Scorpio you've infected somebody with your Scorpio-ness okay this person doesn't sleep well. They think about you all the time. They want to call you all the time. Yeah, they were infected with your love. There you got the Queen of Cups. Scorpio, you got this person and they feelings about you. Could be a Cancer. Excuse me, a Capricorn, my bad. A Capricorn with a Cancer moon, right? Capricorn sun, Cancer moon. Taurus sun, Taurus moon. But angels just said to me, Taurus sun, Taurus moon is the new person. Okay, thank you for that. So is it the, the, the Taurus moon who's obsessed with Scorpio? No. Okay, thank you. Now, bear with me, guys. I normally read, do my readings by placement. Lately, I've been doing them horizontally. But when I started this one, it went like this, then it went like that, then it went like that. You know what I mean? The energy just kept like shifting around. So that's what you guys are experiencing. But somebody is, ex um, no, you do have a Capricorn that's obsessed with you. That, that much is certain. Okay, this is a Capricorn with a Cancer moon. Not only are they they're obsessed with you, but they're obsessed with you because they're deeply. Okay, I blinked my eyes and like shook my head when I said the word deeply in love with you okay but i feel like that five of wands says that they know they can't have you so they're struggling with that okay not only that but i feel like for the capricorn specifically it's almost like listen i can't do nothing with this person i could do 
something with this person all day long. But whoever you are today, I can't mess with you. It's like, uh-uh, no. But if you decide to move on into like this king of cups, move on, I really mean transform, right? Like if you can morph into this king of cups, we have no issues, none. But I do kind of feel like there was like maybe a petty argument or a petty dispute, some sort of petty conflict. And this person like lost their shit, Scorpio. Scorpio, y'all are emotionally balanced. First of all, your emotional, um, your emotional intelligence is on like 273. Because that king, queen and king of cups says to me, Scorpio, again, say it with me, unbothered. First of all, not only were you unbothered, but you didn't get emotionally triggered. They did. You didn't. You kept your cool. No. Okay. Well, now you're walking away. That's what it is. You walked away. You drove away. Um, and not only that, but I also angels are showing my lips. They're like around my lips because I do kind of feel like whomever this, this Capricorn was, they were bitching and moaning and arguing and mad at you, Scorpio. Because why? Because I'm so pretty, right? I'm so cute. I'm so handsome for my male Scorpios, right? And I can just walk away like that. Crosswatcher, listen, 2020 has been a mucked up year, but hopefully the one lesson y'all learned about Scorpio is don't test a Scorpio. Scorpio is always one and a half seconds away from leaving your ass, okay? Don't tempt a Scorpio. Okay, getting back to the reading. I feel like that was an ad, right? <laughs> like an ad just came on. Have you tempted a Scorpio lately? <laughs> All right, move on. Stop your shit, Alex. Okay. This person is trying to figure out how to get you back, Scorpio. I know. God, I'm so sick of the comments of, no, I don't want this person back. And no, he deletes. She blocked. She did. <laughs> Scorpio, I'm sorry, but I don't know who this is. I don't know if this is a past person. I don't know if this is a recent past one. I don't know if this baby mama, baby daddy, ex-husband, ex-wife. I don't know who the this is, Okay. But whomever's energy you were just into recently and this person fell head over heels for Scorpio and y'all might have bumped heads. The beautiful thing about this card, Scorpio, it, there's no stinger, okay? Because I feel like for a lot of you guys, again, because you're so emotionally intelligent right now, you ain't even have to dig into your stinger bag on this person, right? At the end of the day, I'm never going toe-to-toe -to -toe with the devil. I'm not. Me personally, no. Because I know I got too much light energy around me where I don't even have to bat an eyelash. I could sit and just watch the battle happen from my car or from my seat. You know what I mean? And I feel like that's what also got this person up in arms. Because you didn't you didn't get overly dramatic and you didn't rah, rah, let me tell you, Todd and Tim, this is how. No, Scorpio, you was like, I'm out. Mm, mm, mm. Got to be more careful. All right, get get through the reading, Alex. Now with the, the page of swords, again, that's petty, that's small, that's, you know, communication to try to trigger you and kind of lure you back in. But here's the beautiful monkey wrench in your reading, Scorpio. Y'all yeah, about to meet somebody else. That's why I said there were two people in this reading. This is Taurus. That's Capricorn. So I feel like for some of you guys in the process of dealing, whatever this situation was, you might have met somebody as a result of whatever this situation was. Like if you was at your man's house or you was at your girlfriend's house, Y'all got into an argument or they tried to argue with you, Scorpio. And you was like, you know what? I'm out. I'm not dealing with this. Hell, when you left, you might have met this king of pentacles, male or female. Because Scorpio, you do have a Taurus. Taurus sun, Taurus moon coming your way. Okay? Not only that, 10 of pentacles. This the long-term boo-boo. Right? This the long-term boo-boo. Because you have missed this is my Mr. Right card, male or female. There's your commitment slash marriage card slash institution. 
And there's your long-term value, long-term investment, long-term wealth with your king of pentacles, okay? Male or female. Now, you also have the six of wands. Five of wands, six of wands. Scorpio, unbothered, okay? Not only that, but you came away unhurt. And it's crazy because... As soon as I saw this three of swords fall down or when I put it down on the table, I immediately got that that wasn't you. Like you weren't the person who was hurt. Now, for some of you, you might have been, right? But I don't feel like this is your three of swords. I feel like this is this person, right? Because guess what? Third party. One, this is you, Scorpio, right? Being balanced, divine, masculine, logic, love right? Love, emotion, or love, logic, and emotion. And then, so you got one, this is you, Scorpio. And three, that's a third party. That's a third party. Scorpio, first of all, how you gonna go and get a third party? Okay. Well, I just also heard, because Scorpio's dropping somebody. <laughs> Sorry, I don't mean to laugh. But I just heard Scorpio, that's because Scorpio's dropping one of these passengers off. Lord. <laughs> now, here's the thing. Because, oh, it's weird because monkey wrenches have been showing up in the outcome positions. But with the Page of Swords and also the Two of Wands, I feel like this Capricorn is going to call you or send you a text or send you some sort of message. And I feel like in good, in good judgment, Scorpio you are going to review the situation to see if there is anything viable there. And then I feel like you can carry your ass on into the future with Mr. or Mrs. Wright. Okay. Again, let me read out these signs. Capricorn, Taurus, Taurus. Um, that's Cancer, Cancer, Scorpio, and uh, Gemini. <laughs> That's thought. Not only that, but this Capricorn, by the way, with that petty and small thought, they think they're going to trigger you back into their lives. Crosswatcher, you cannot challenge a Scorpio and then think that Scorpio is going to stay in your life. Good luck with that. Let me know how that works out. Okay. If anything, you might as well just tell a damn truth. I'm an idiot. My bad, Scorpio then we may consider you, right? Not only that, but I'm also getting, yeah, like you could maybe even talk to this person to hear them out or whatever have you. And again, keep them in the third party. Like, yo, we already know it is pretty certain that the Capricorn is going to talk themselves out of this situation, okay? So realistically, all you gotta do is just wait for Capricorn to cancel themselves out. All right, let's see what romance angels have. Yeah, you do have new love coming in. You do have a new partner coming in. And I do feel like this new partner is going to be really worth your time and really worth your energy, Scorpio. And again, it looks as though this person is Taurus sun, Taurus moon, or they could have Taurus somewhere in their charts. And y'all know Scorpio and Taurus, good googly muggly. Mm -hmm. Move on, Alex. Finances and career. Financial issues are a factor in your love life right now. Scorpio, by the way, I don't I don't feel like that was you in this situation. It could have been that devil here. Now, y'all know something too, right? Because Capricorn obviously is an um, earth sign as well as Taurus. But they made Taurus the king of pentacles, as in established, independent, got their shit together, Okay. And sitting here with Capricorn, it's like, yeah, not so much. So when I see the finances and career, I do kind of feel like that's that could have been the trigger for this person is because they know they don't have they ish together. And again, Scorpio, here you are in all of your glory. Some of you guys are Scorpio Sun, Cancer Moon, right? Um, who's the second, uh, third deck in Scorpio? So if your birthday falls, what? Between the... 11th and the 21st this reading may resonate with you incredibly well because the third deck in Scorpios are more like Cancers as well as Scorpios so you got a lot of Cancer right this is Scorpio Cancer Cancer 
um, on the table. So third deck in Scorpios. Um, yeah, yeah. And you know what, too, Scorpio? I feel like you dodged a bullet and a machete. And here's why. Because this devil, right, you see the bondage. You see the male and female naked in their, um, kind of like they're exposed, right? And they show their inner cells or they show their their souls, their bare souls. And they were, you know, trying to attach to you. That's what this person was going to do. They were trying to drain the fuck out of you, Scorpio. Good job. High five. Good job. <laughs> These are interactive readings. All right. What else do we have for Scorpio? I just had to laugh at that. Reconciliation. Someone from your past is returning to your life. Like I said, some of y'all may take this person back. Uh, I also said in the beginning of the reading, too, that this person actually may transform into what you need what you need them to be. Um, but I don't think that's what that is. It's possible, but I don't have a strong feeling that that's what's going to happen. But I don't know if I said this out loud, but I know I thought it. This person was coming in to drain you, right? Y'all know, just like the law of uh, attraction, there's the law of opposites, okay? So Scorpio, now that you all balanced and looking good and tasting good and smelling good, Hell yeah, you got negativity that was coming after you like, I need to eat, right? I'm hungry. I need some Scorpio loving. I need love too. <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh my God. All right, getting to know each other. New person. As you reveal your innermost uh, selves to each other, your bond deepens. New person. Yep, new person on the horizon, new love on the horizon. This is you now having to deal with the old person. And again, I don't feel like this is old, old. It could be, or it could be recent past. You know, somebody you met recently and you cut off recently. Now they ask is want to resurface, but you already got a new boo on the horizon. Angels just also said to me too, that my old cliche, the best way to get a date is to have a date. So now that your attention is focused on somebody else, somebody wants to focus their attention on you. Religious factors. Your love life is influenced by your religious upbringing and spiritual path. Yeah. And that just, yeah, that just says to me, this person was coming to suck you dry energetically, Scorpio. Because y'all know the devil too is a sign of toxicity. They were coming to feed off of you like a leech, by the way. Straight up, Scorpio. You you dodged a humongous bullet, by the way. Huge bullet. What'd I say? I ain't got to fight the devil. I don't. I don't. No need to worry. Improving health. Yeah. Because you're already balanced. Stay balanced, Scorpio. Stay balanced, Kabubu. In the near future. Yeah. So that just says to me, if you haven't met this person, that person is coming along. I will give you guys a soft warning. The more you entertain this, the more they're going to attempt to drain your energy. So you may want to interact with this person at, at a distance if you do interact with this person. But be careful about letting them bring you out of alignment and bringing you out of balance. Because this, this one needs you in balance, by the way. Scorpio. Let's do Moonology for you. What additional messages do you have for Scorpio? Everybody else's readings was like 8, 9, and 10 minutes. Scorpio's is a fucking episode. <laughs> Sorry. Bring love into the situation. Yeah, buddy. You are already in love with your damn self, Scorpio. Yeah. Luck is on your side. Again, I don't need to fight. My angels have my back. A time for healing. Show the world the real you. Beautiful. Beautiful, Scorpio. All right, guys, I'm going to go ahead and leave it here. Like, subscribe, comment. Um, also, uh, if you're interested in a personal reading, click on the schedule and appointment link on my about page on my channel. And remember, after December, December 17th, 
I am not doing personal readings, so don't text me, don't email me, don't call me. I don't know y'all from December 17th to like January 3rd. I don't know you, but I still love you, Scorpio. I will continue to do readings. And again, as a reminder, changing up my reading schedule for 2022. Um, I don't know what that's going to look like yet, but stay tuned. I love you, Scorpio. Bye.